In this Encircle Quick Tip, we're gonna be talking about sizing your air movers for setting up your job and making sure that you're meeting the standard. Come on, I'll show you. A lot of restorers make these mistakes of not properly sizing their jobs. You're gonna have one air mover for every room, and then you're gonna add one air mover for every 50 to 70 square feet of wet floor, one air mover for every 100 to 150 square feet of walls and ceilings that are affected, and then you get one air mover for every inset or offset over 18 inches, and one for every obstruction. When we look at a room like this, we have about 380 square feet. We're gonna get between seven and, and nine air movers for that. And then we start to look at the different things that come to impact it. We have some flooring in here that might be an obstruction. We have these, which is a step. So we could treat these as an inset or an offset. We can also treat them as an obstruction. We would add air mover counts for that. We have other things like our, our angled walls there. That would be an inset over 24 inches. We pick that up and we have the corner where we are at the door. Uh, where it turns a corner, that's an offset, and we're gonna pick up an extra air mover for that. Most contractors are undersizing their jobs, and that airflow is what's helping get the moisture out of the materials and into your dehumidifiers. It's transferring that heat energy. Sizing your jobs is good for you, it's good for your business, and it's really good for your clients, and that's your Encircle Quick Tip of the Week.